Hi, I'm Mara Webster with In Creative Company, and today we're so fortunate to be joined by the wonderful Jabari Banks to talk all about the Peacock series, Bel Air. Um, and when you we were kind of like conceptualizing and developing the character of Will, I was, I was interested in some of the facets of how you approach that because he's a character who is so confident and has so much charisma on the surface, but obviously like anyone, there's always elements underneath. And particularly for this show, you're taking a character at the beginning and stripping away so many elements of what's familiar to him in his life. He's stepping Stepping away from his friends, from his family, his really close relationship with his mom, you mm. know, his home in Philadelphia and everything that he knows is suddenly taken from underneath him. Um, yeah. And so when you were shaping him as a character, how did you look at the surface level of like that confidence and charisma and then what that starts to create underneath the surface when you take all of those things away for him? Right. When you take away what he knows and you know what I mean? You take away like all of, all of the facets of his life that make him who he is. What, what does Will look like when he's stripped down? And I think at the core, we get to see that Will is a prideful young man and, and you know, that gets him into a lot of trouble. Uh, you know, he doesn't like his toes being stepped on and any chance that he gets to prove someone wrong, he will, whether that gets him in trouble or not, or, you know, and, and, and so when we get to strip down who Will is, um, he's, he's definitely a man, uh, a young man who is scared of being vulnerable. And I think that's some, that's a reflection of a lot of young men that come from communities like Will comes from, and that that's going to resonate with a lot of people. And um, I felt that as Jabari, you know, portraying Will, I needed to push past that barrier of who I, I am, because, you know, as a black man, you grow up, you know, you don't cry. And you know, what I mean, you, you, you don't don't let them see you sweat. And, and phrases like that are phrases that, you know, allow us to put these walls up in our life, you know, what I mean, to to, you know, not show our, our, who we are, who we truly are and, and not show our weaknesses. And so that's definitely who Will was going into Bel Air. But I think working with, you know, Uncle Phil and, and Aunt Viv and, and, you know, going through the obstacles and hurdles that he has to face in Bel Air, he learns to be vulnerable. And, and, and in order to, to tell that story truthfully and properly, Jabari had to do the same. Yeah, no, he's gone through, even just in the seasons that have aired so far this season, he's gone through, you know, such a maturity and such an evolution and such an arc as a character. And, yeah. you know, when he first stepped into this home, he was literally in a space where his uncle is saying to him, if I could put you on a plane back now, I would, you know, he's yeah. being told, I didn't want you here and I don't want you staying. It's just the circumstances, yeah. but there are relationships at a completely different place. There's, uh, you know, kind of like a new dynamic with Carlton where that was very distant. And now they've kind of both shown each other vulnerability of themselves mm -hmm. and what for you was kind of the turning point where those relationship dynamics started to really shift for him and and where you felt like he would start to feel comfortable showing those vulnerabilities you know there was a specific moment um I believe it was in episode four three or four where Will calls his mom and she's like you know I always said that your crown is waiting for you as, as soon as you find the courage to wear it and, you know, you, 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 throw, you, you thrived in Philly and you're going to do the same in Bel Air. And he's like, you know, I don't feel that way. Like, I don't feel like the West Philly goat. You know what I mean? Because I'm not in West Philly. And she's like, look around you and, you know, think about where you are today and think about where you were last night or, you know, a week ago. And I think that's the moment where Will decides that he has to open up to this new life because, you know, he has friends like Trey who who have the opposite side of the coin, who who didn't have who wasn't fortunate, fortunate enough to have a family that lives across the country and, and to get away from this, the situations uh, and, you know, the darkness that, that surrounds them in Philly. Uh, and, you know, he ends up getting shot and, um, you know, Will, Will was fortunate enough, you know, to to escape that. And so he definitely takes that into account and, and decides in that moment, like, OK, I'm going to give this a shot, a real shot. Yeah. And I, I love that line that kind of like keeps resonating throughout the show of his mom saying that thing about, you know, when you're strong enough to wear the crown, it's it's ready for you. Yeah. And what's great about that relationship between the two of them is there's such a closeness with him and his mom. It's been just the two of them for so long. So that brings a really unique and special closeness. Yeah. And you're having to kind of like play that dynamic without being on screen with April Parker Jones a lot. You kind of get to do that at the beginning, then when yeah. she comes out to visit. But yet yeah. we always get that sense of like what she's instilled with him, what she did for him when he mm -hmm. talks about, you know, we didn't have a piano. I learned to play in church, but she would create the notes on cardboard for me so I could practice, you know, yeah. she would clearly give him the world. And so how are you always in the back of your mind thinking about that relationship and portraying everything that she's instilled with him, the values that she's raised with him, the love that the two of them have, even if you're not on screen together to do it all the time. 
I think, you know, anybody growing up in a single parent household can resonate with that feeling of that, you know, like I would do anything for this parent, you know what I mean? Because it's only been us. And so when, with Will going into this new lifestyle, having, you know, a brother and two sisters and, and a mom and figure and a dad figure, you know what I mean? He, he has to learn how to adapt, but he'll always have his mom with him. And that's such a huge core part of who Will is, is always wanting to do right by his mom, you know? And so when, you know, there you see moments of, of, you know, her saying, you know, I, I, you got to go. Like, you know what I mean? Moments where, moments where you're like, you, you got to get out of Philly. You're going to, to Bel Air. And he's like, I don't even know these people. He, looking back, he can say, oh, wow. Like she definitely wanted what was best for me. Like she was right. You know, life is so much more than these 14 square miles that I grew up in. And, you know, it, it, there's sentences like that, that she's instilled in him. And so he's taking that with him uh, to Bel Air. And that's, that's sort of his guiding light. Definitely. You know, his mother, you know, she's definitely his guiding light in Bel Air for sure. Absolutely. And off the back of that, what was it like when you were filming the scene where they're having the conversation where he's decided that he's going to stay in Bel Air? Because that was such kind of an emotional connection between the two of them in that moment. Did the two of you have a chance to connect on that scene? Because again, you know, that's a conversation happening over the phone, not in the room. And yet both of you really brought the emotion of what that scene is to each of them. Yeah, we, we, we weren't together uh, in that scene. We didn't have a chance to, to be together in the room. But yeah, we definitely tapped into the truth of, of what was happening, you know, and it's, this is a mother who was, it, this wasn't supposed to be forever. You know what I mean? And, and now that, you know, the situation in Philly has died down, she's expecting him to come back and, you know, be her son again. And, and Will is like, I, I, I have a whole new life and I have friends and I have a basketball team and I have a and I have people that I care about out here now and it's the middle of the school year. So, you know what I mean? And that's definitely a hard conversation to have with, you know, growing up, like you two are the only two people that, you know, like, you know what I mean? Like it's only been Will and by Will's whole life. And Will has to make the decision that he wants more for himself. And, you know, that's, that's hard for both parties. And so um, I'm glad that resonated with you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, There's also a moment, you know, there's things that other people say about Will as a character that kind of give you certain details. And one of the one of the lines that really stuck out early on in the show for me was when Jeffrey is talking to Phil and saying, you know, that he sees him in the unguarded moments looking around to check how he's doing, you know, because he knows that there's a lot of eyes on him and he's in this kind of fishbowl situation. And, you know, are there are there other lines like that or like how did a line like that really influence the way that you were thinking about those moments for him as a character and making sure that you're capturing those elements in your performance. Yeah, there's definitely lines where 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 the family celebrates Will. It's like, yeah, I told you he was special. You know what I mean? And and Will doesn't see that. You know what I mean? Sometimes Will feels like, you know, this is he's definitely a fish out of water. And he's like, like Jeffrey said, he's trying, he's trying his best. And you know, he puts the napkin on his lap to eat now and he, he uses the right forks, you know, and and learning those that language and learning those nuanced uh those nuanced uh, happenings in this new Bel Air world, you know, is, is definitely, um, is definitely a culture shock for Will, uh, but definitely, you know, finding the, the moments where, where the, the family celebrates him for being special and, and for being naturally him and, 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 you know, and for being, for being someone who's unapologetic, you know, and I feel like that's, that's something that the Banks family is navigating uh, as a family. Um, with Uncle Phil running for DA, with Aunt Viv, um, you know, uh, having a reconnection to her art, artistic life. Uh, and, and so they find uh, courage and peace and will the fact that he can be authentically himself around them and in this world. They find the courage to do the same thing in theirs. Yeah. Is it really fun as well to kind of find those facets of a character like the fact that he's very unapologetic, which you were Mm -hmm. talking about earlier is something that, you know, sometimes is his downfall in certain moments, but also that's his biggest attribute as a person and such a positive and great thing for him as well. And is it really fun to find those facets where certain things in him are both his strength and his weakness at the same time? Yeah, yeah, that's that's definitely a strength and a weakness is being unapologetic. It's like it's also learning to adapt and it's also learning to be nuanced and 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 whatever room you're in. And and that's definitely something that Will is learning. But I feel like it is very admirable. It's very admirable and and very I commend people who can do this is to be authentically themselves in each room that they go into. Uh, And, you know, we all have different versions of ourselves. You know what I mean? And so whether that be learning how to code switch 
or you know, learning how to say the right thing to appease somebody in a room. Um, that's definitely something that Will is learning, but it is a beautiful attribute that he has that at, at first, you know what I mean? Or, you know, kind of throughout the whole season, he doesn't know, you know what I mean? What's right and what's wrong to say in these rooms. So when we see him come in, in the first, the first scene where he's at that party and he's like, yo, Freddie Fred, like, yo, what up? You know what I mean? He's talking to politicians, dapping them up, rubbing them on the head. And he's like, yo, Uncle Phil, I appreciate you for doing what, and Uncle Phil's like, not now, you know what I mean? And Will's like, oh, he doesn't know, you know? And so there's, that's definitely his, his strength and his, and his weakness. And I feel like that's so fun to watch him navigate, you know? It is. And, and one of his other real strengths is, is as a character that there's so many things going on in his life. You know, like we said, even just like moving everything that happened in Philadelphia where mm. he could sit and wallow and feel sorry for himself, but he's not the type of person to do that. And no. he really always kind of chooses action and moving forward and solutions yeah. and, mm. and finding the optimism in moments. And he does it both for himself, but we're also starting to see him do that for other characters. Like when mm. Carlton's feeling really terrible about a bunch of things and he's like, you know, we're going to have a party. We're going to change the way that people view you if they're not yeah. seeing you in the right light. And I thought that yeah. was a really endearing quality of him. And, and so what are the ways in which for you, he really kind of always leads with action and always leads with optimism when he could go the other direction. Yeah, there's, there's definitely moments in, 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 in Will's life where he definitely could go the uh, opposite direction with good reason. And, you know, I feel like Will chooses his family over everything because that's, a, that's something that Aunt Viv has instilled in him and his mom has instilled in him is like family is everything. You know, your family is like, you know, it's, 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 it's all we got, you know what I mean? And that, that's what she tells him. And so whenever Will sees Carlton, you know, in, in, the, in the dumps, you know what I mean? He's, he's like, man, come on, like, we can do this, you know, and no, no matter what they've been through, um, it's always a beautiful, um, it's always a beautiful notion to know that your family cares for you no matter, unconditionally, you know, unconditional love and, and, and Will is learning how to, how to give that out and how to, how to piece that. And, and uh, so, yeah, yeah. That's definitely a difficult one for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously the relationship with him and Carlton wasn't always that way, as we've seen in the show, you know, it's yeah. very, there was a lot of animosity between the two of them at the beginning and a lot of friction. And I feel like a lot of that shifted when Will started to see Carlton as someone who's also gone through struggles and, and had a lot of issues. Whereas at the beginning, he just saw on the surface, the things that he has that Will hasn't had, right. um, you know, and when you guys had that fight scene, it was so filled with emotion for both of them, but also mm. there was a lot of logistics that went into shooting that scene, you know, when you fall into the pool. So I was really interested in hearing about, you know, the emotional side of that scene and how that also kind of like had to come together alongside a lot of the technical elements of the scene, a scene like that as well. Yeah. You know, I feel we, we had a lot of talks about that scene, um, you know, and I, and uh, you know, I think the biggest, uh, the biggest takeaway from Will in that scene is the betrayal of a family member, like someone that you trusted, someone that invited you to this party, you know what I mean? And, and pushing him into that pool, he didn't know that Will couldn't swim, you know what I mean? And, but, but pushing him in the notion of doing that in general uh, was definitely something that was jarring for Will. And, and, and you know, he, he, he took action. We talk about action. He, he took action, and, and whether that be the right or wrong, you know, he had to take action. But uh, you know, th that was that was a great scene in the film. The, the the logistics when it comes to that was, you know, we we were we filmed that. That was a grueling day. I think that was like a, a fourteen hour shoot. I think it was like an overnight shoot, and I feel like we 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 started filming at like maybe like five p.m. and we finished at like seven a.m. or something like that. It's really easy, and. Um, and so we, we shot that. And then another time we shot uh, some, some CGI. I was in a green room and I, I know I was, I was all lined up, you know, and, and, you know, we did the, we did the fall again scene. So that got, that got some in there. And then another time we did one in a tank where, you know, we saw some of the lights in the tank and it felt like this abyss of water, this, you know, just this. So uh, it was, it was definitely a, a big scene to, to film for sure. 
Yeah. And a really memorable one, both visually and emotionally with those characters. And, yeah. and some of that friction as well has obviously come with the, the triangle of Lisa. But what I love about getting to watch those scenes with Will and Lisa is, you know, you were talking about earlier, you know, there's different sides of ourselves with different people yeah. and different things that come to the surface. And for yeah. Will, it seems like there's a real kind of calmness to him mm -hmm. in terms of his energy. He doesn't have to present anything for her. He's really yeah. able to just distill himself down to like his true version of himself yeah. um and so you know what's that dynamic that you really wanted to bring forth and the way that you wanted to kind of find that very specific energy that she brings out in him yeah you know I, i've definitely needed to justify for myself why will chose this girl out of the many in la you know what i mean and there's there's a big part that is like you know will sees a bit of philly in Lisa. It's something that's recognizable to him. It's something that reminds him of home. And when he's with her, it's natural. And that's something that we can't run away from. And, and Will understands that. It's like, I know there's history, but this is also something. And they're six, they're teens. You know what I mean? This is this is something that it's there's something pulling him towards her and pulling her towards him. And and they're they're gonna find a way out of you know out of no way to, to be together. Uh, you know, regardless of everything that, that comes with it. Yeah. yeah. I also find Will as a character to be someone who's very astute in the way that he sees people. And he often sees a lot beneath the surface. Yeah. Um, a great example of that is the episode with Uncle Phil's fraternity and Will kind of being like, hey, come up and perform and just like yeah. loosening him back and, and yeah. bringing him back to who he was before, you know, because yeah. he spends so much time having to be a certain person for politics now. Yeah. Um, yeah. And do you find that as well? And, and is that a space that you really get to explore a lot of different parts of Will in, in the relationship dynamics? Because he's never just looking at the surface of what people are telling him or showing him. He's always looking mm -hmm. underneath for what's there as well. Exactly, yes. And that's that's something that I recognized in Will going into the, you know, into certain episodes and into certain situations. Uh, and that's something that the family recognizes in Will as well. And so Will just wants them to be their authentic selves because they layered on so much of what makes them successful and what makes them appropriate and what makes them fit into this Bel Air bubble. And Will is going to pop that and get down to who the Banks family actually is. You know what I mean? And, and they celebrate him for that. And so I feel like there are so many special moments within the show that, that, you know, break down who these characters like actually are, you know what I mean? And, and, and uh, definitely a, re a return to home situation, especially when it comes to that Uncle Phil, uh, you know, stepping, stepping scene, you know, that was, that was a special in the film. That was, that was so fun because I think that was a moment of levity, a moment that we get to see these characters just enjoying themselves and enjoying their community. And, um, and so, yeah, I love that. I love that scene. Yeah. I mean, in the same way with what we're saying there, that Will kind of finds things in other people and brings certain things out in them. Mm -hmm. What are the things that you feel the Banks family have really brought out in Will or reminded him about himself in return? Mm, that's a really good question. They, they've a lot, a lot, honestly. I mean, like, you know, giving, giving people a second chance and seeing, seeing outside of you, you know what I mean? Seeing perspective. And I think, I feel Will has, uh, Will's gift is, you know, seeing the truth under the situation or under under the surface of who these characters are. But he's, he he has he struggles with seeing outside of himself. You know what I mean? And seeing other people's perspective and understanding Carlton's perspective, right? And like and understanding, you know what I mean? What was before him and and understanding that this is a family that he's coming into and how to be a family. You know what I mean? So that's something that they've definitely taught him because, you know, being an only child is a very specific, you know, lifestyle. You know what I mean? You get all the attention and you just, you you know, everything is poured into you. And so Will is learning how to pour into his family members, uh, help, you know, in a, in a healthy way, you know? Yeah. So that's definitely something that they taught him. Yeah. And one of his forms of expression as well is also the relationship that he has with basketball. And yeah. that's something that completely gets turned on its head for him. There's the moment yeah. where he's talking about every time he steps on the court, every time he touches the ball, that everything that happened that night just comes back to him. Uh -huh. And so what did you find to be his relationship with basketball, who he is as a player, the, the kind of like connection that he has with that and what it brings out in himself. And then, you know, kind of going back to what we were talking about at the beginning and, and stripping away these things, 
what it means to have that taken away and, and to have that emotional connection and place of safety where he feels his most truest self suddenly yeah. be something that, you know, is completely shifted for him. Right. You know, I've definitely basketball is a form of expression for Will and he finds himself in the game and he learns more about himself through the game. And, and, you know, the game is a big part of why he's in Bel Air in the first place. It's like, I have to prove to this dude that he is not better to better than me at basketball. And there's no one who can stop me. You know what I mean? And, and so he, he goes and he decides to do what he's going to do in that situation. And that 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 catapults him into Bel Air. And, you know, we in, in the show, I'm fortunate enough to talk about, you know, real issues when it comes to trauma and police brutality and PTSD and what that looks like for a teenage young man. You know what I mean? In this world. And, and so there's every time he touches a basketball, there is a physical a physical and also a, also a mental block, you know what I mean, of, of what he can do with this basketball, you know what I mean, and what he can do on the court and, and who he is through the game now and when it's all stripped away and when that's all, you know what I mean, um, when that's all, you know, just, just taken away from him. And uh, it's it's definitely a moment where Will has to, to figure out who he is outside of the game. Uh, and so... Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's that. <laughs> and also in terms of, of some of the lines that you get to deliver during the show, you know, there's, there's a line referencing, um, you know, basketball that I wanted to ask about because there's, there's certain drops in the show back to the original. It's a completely separate show. It's a complete reimagining, you know, it's a standalone performance and character, but there's little Easter eggs snuck in there for the audience. And so when you're given a line where he's referencing, oh, you know, I got in one little fight and my mom got scared. You have to deliver that not with a wink to the audience and not with like kind of any sort of comedy in it, but like the dead seriousness, but also knowing the context of of how the audience is going to react to that. And so what's it been like having lines like that and trying to figure out that very specific delivery as soon as i read that line i was like no they didn't i was like <laughs> no they didn't um but I, they definitely like i had a big talk with morgan about that line and like we just we came to the conclusion that i had to lean into the truth of, of yeah. what was happening and mm-hmm. will is, is shying away from the truth of what happened in that situation he's you know he's he's lightening it up for on the you know and so when it goes into, you know, I got him a little fight, my mom got scared, blah, 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 blah. I'm fine. You know what I mean? Uh, and he's burying that truth. And so I had to to lean into that. And and uh, and hopefully it didn't come across too corny. <laughs> no, it didn't at all. It was, it was great. <laughs> Yeah. And then, you know, kind of lastly, you've you've been on this great evolution as an actor in this show. It's your first time, you know, stepping into a TV show, leading a TV show, you know, learning a lot of aspects that come with that in so many regards as a performer behind the camera, what that means on set to be number one on a call sheet. And at the same time, you're playing a character who is thrown into this new situation and going through this entire trajectory and evolution himself. And so what are some of the the things that you've been learning along the way and some of the parallels that you've really been able to pull into Will as a character from from that parallel experience that you're both having? Mm, You know, oh God, that's such a good question. I feel like I have learned so much throughout this process already. And, and, you know, we're just getting started. It's only been seven months, you know, and and there's, there's so far to go, but I feel like one of the biggest things that I've learned is definitely just about energy and, 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 and and just leading with love and, and being grateful for the situation that you're in. You know, I feel like Will has a second chance in life and he has the opportunity to recreate himself and reinvent himself and, and to, um, reestablish himself and, and to figure out who he is in this world. And, and I felt it felt like I got that chance to, um, throughout this, through this process, through this project. And, and, um, you know, you know, I never want to feel like th- this is slipping out of my, you know, out of my hands, you know, you know, like, like sand or whatever, but I just, I, you know, I always feel like I, I want to carry this with, with, with grace and, and just being grateful in every situation that I'm in, because, you know, um, a lot of people don't have this opportunity. And so I think that's the, that's the parallel between my life and Will's life when it comes to that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you've done such a remarkable job with this character and yeah. very genuinely every single ep- episode of the show just gets better and better and better. I and better. Agree. So- I agree. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. I like the episode a lot. Yeah. I'm so excited that, you know, we know we're in, we're in this for at least two seasons and hopefully many more and really appreciate you talking all about the series with us. So thank you so much, Jabari. Of course. Thank you for having me. This is great. This is great.